Now, coming to question number 20, the gut of cow and buffalo possess. Now, in the gut of cow and buffalo, there is presence of methanogens. Methanogens, they are involved in digestion of cellulose. So, for this question, the right option is option number 4. Now, question number 21. Which of the following require pollinators? and is genetically similar to autogamy that is self-pollination. So let's see first option here, cholestogamy. Now you know that in the cholestogamy there is formation of closed flowers, you call them as cholestogamous flowers and in the cholestogamous flowers always there is self-pollination because opening of flower or anthesis that is absent. Now coming to the gypnogamy. Now, in the gypnogamy, there is involvement of two flowers for the pollination, but these two flowers, they are present on the same plant. In the gypnogamy, there is transfer of pollen grain from anther to the stigma of the different flowers which belong to the same plant. So, you know that for the transfer of the pollen grain, there would be requirement of pollinators, ecological agencies, but both the flowers, they belong to the same plant, so they are genetically similar. So, pollinators, they are required, but genetically it is self-pollination. So, we will say this is right option here. Now, coming to xenogamy. Now, in xenogamy, Again, the pollination is between two different flowers, but now they belong to two different plants. So, surely there is requirement of pollinators. Along with that, the two flowers, they belong to different plants. So, now they are not genetically same. So, it is genetically cross-pollination. Now, apogamy. What do you mean by apo? Apo means without Gammy is a fertilization fusion. So, apogamy is formation of embryo without fusion. So, again, this is not the right option here. So, for question number 21, the right option is option number 2. So, now let's move on to question number 22 here.